with the families remaining to beg the government to produce their loved one. Ode Francis, get the news. It's Lee, Nairobi. The presence of street families in Nakuru city cannot be overlooked. Both the residents and visitors alike are aware of the challenge, but one resident is doing something about it. Regina Kamoche has an established center that aims at rescuing the street dwellers by offering concrete chance for a new life. Ken Gajui reports from Nakuru. Whether a pedestrian or a motorist, chances of bumping into street families in Nakuru are almost guaranteed, especially on the city's main street, Kenyatta Avenue. Regardless of their age and gender, this group of city dwellers survive by begging, scavenging, sometimes engaging in crime, and when lucky they get paid for manual jobs like carrying luggage. Regina Kamocha is well known in this city streets. Her involvement in the lives of the street families dates back to 2007. We started as a feeding program for the street families, especially the young girls in the streets who have children. So we did a feeding program and then we graduated into a rescue center for them. She is the founder of Daraja 360, a community-based organization which, just like its name suggests, creates a bridge and opportunities for a complete turnaround for the destitute through rescue and training. We did rehabilitation at the center and we did skill development also at the center. And afterwards we were to reintegrate the women back into the community. Uh, and the children. Having sat down with social workers in Akuru town and found out that there is a gap for reintegration. So the Raja now addresses the issue of reintegration because we saw a gap in it. The CBO is currently sponsoring the education of 35 beneficiaries ranging from early childhood to universities. 48 young mothers rescued from the streets are currently at the center. Here they learn and practice hairdressing and tailoring. Among them is 37-year-old Monica Wanjiru, who was rescued in a shack at the Gyoto Dam site. Wanjiro is now an assistant manager of the CBU's textile unit. All her children are in school, with the eldest in his final year of college. With some of the beneficiaries now leading independent lives, some of them are still under mentorship at the CBU's shop, which stocks products made at the center. We offer school uniforms and corporate uniforms. We usually produce security uniforms, we produce uh, hotel uniforms, we produce hos hospital uniforms, and now the county government give us an opportunity to produce for them also. Our mentorship program is geared towards creating the character who him to aweze ku sustain life. Akipewa job anaweza iweka, akiitwa mahali anaweza behave. Uh, in, the, in the manner that is required of them in those spaces. It has not been an easy task for Regina, but she is not giving up. She is calling for more stakeholders to come on board to assist in rescuing, rehabilitating and reintegrating the street families. Ken Gashuhi, KTN News. Lewa Conservancy has adopted the use of Earth Ranger, a revolutionary technology that can